Welcome back guys and I'm getting physical quantities and measurement techniques question 3 and question 4. So let's start. Question 3. A cyclist travels along a straight horizontal road as shown in figure 1.1. Straight horizontal means level road. So describe how the average speed of the cyclist can be measured. In your account suggest what equipment is used this measurement that are made and how the average speed is calculated. Hame average speed ya speed ke liye total distance divided by total oh my bad I'm not total distance divided by total time. So we need two quantities, we need two values which is one is distance, second one is time, right? So distance kiss hum measure kare, which the thing which is long enough for us to measure this distance. We will take tape. Take na hum tape se measure karenge. Or ski what time? Time we can use stopwatch, timer, phone koi app hai, phone ke koi application hai, but mainly the word we're gonna use is a timer or stopwatch. So yeah, we're gonna first we're gonna get the distance and first we're going to get the time and the distance and then we're going to divide it then we'll get the average speed so yeah so this is the answer distance measured between two marks with meter rule or tape meter rule i don't think it's ideal to use meter rule time measured between two marks with stopwatch clock stop clock timer Average speed is total distance over total time. Yeah. So let's move on. Question 4. A swing is made by tying rope loosely to the branches of a tree as shown in figure 2.1. A child swings backwards and forwards several times starting at the highest point A. A is the start to A. Yaha tak swing hua hai, C se fir wapis aaya hai. Explain how another child can obtain an accurate measurement of the time for one complete swing. Acha, first off, we'll once again, ek second, excuse me. Let me just get the answer so you all can see. Acha. This is what they are saying. So, use a stopwatch or electronic timer to use a stopwatch for at least five swings. Taake, agar koi uncertainties ho jaye, aapko ek dafa clock, matlab timer lagane mein thodi si der ho jaye, timer band karne mein thodi si der ho jaye, ya aapki matlab human jo errors hoti hai na, usko minimize kar deta hai average lena, right? So, jitni dafa aap average loge, agar aap, for example, agar aap note kin rahe ho, agar aap us note ko, char ya paint dafa gino ge, the reading would be accurate. Pahli dafa aap ko shayad ek note, matab do, do note ek ki tar taraf nikal gaye hai. Dousri dafa shayad galti ho gaye hai aap se, aap, aap ne galat time pe blink kar liya, aap ko tisri dafa chink a gai. So, average would be taken so that the uncertainties are minimized so yeah that's it for the for these questions thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed allah office